Arsenal back at eight points clear ahead of City and topping the Premier League table after winning Leeds by four goals to one at Emirates. And you know how we do it. After the match reaction, we come up with a segment known as How It Happened, summarizing how everything happened on the field of play as Arsenal pulled Leeds to <coughs> sword. Welcome to Rokani Media Football. Guys, how is your first of April? You guys, hope you guys are really having a fantastic day and we are soon going into the second of April and I think you guys are really great. And this is Rock and David Arsenal going ahead to put in a statement win on <clears throat> the day that City had gone ahead to beat Liverpool by four goals to one? You know, it looked like a very hard game for Arsenal for starters, but when Jesus came in through and obviously scored that goal after really creating that penalty, that is what we call a sole effort. That's the beauty of Jesus, and uh, <clears throat> I would like to throw in this what makes him special is that he can create something out of nothing when you look at the situation that he was in many people would have said he's going to shoot he's going to maybe look for a square towards the d of the italian's box area but he just made an improvisation and anyone couldn't think about that he's jesus and really made that and got us off the group because in the first half Leeds had a better go at Arsenal than Arsenal did to Leeds. So I think Jesus just has just gone ahead to really express himself as the most important player at Arsenal. You might hate him, you might not really fancy him, but he's a player that really saved Arsenal on the day because in every in every match the most the, the most important thing is the first goal. The first goal is the most important thing because if Arsenal went to have time when it's 0-0, zero, zero. Leeds would have gone, would have come back with with had nerves, knowing that all right, let's go ahead and really force a draw. And you know, Leeds came up with six defenders. You get six defenders to really defend the ball, and they had lots of bodies onto the ball. And it required the brilliancy of Jesus to go all out and really sit defenders down, a penalty given to him, and obviously he laid the ball in the back of the net through a spot. So, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, let's see close to 100 likes much on this video, and now let's get into this as how it happened. Now, in the 10th minute, that is Jesus for you, a cross coming in from Grant Jaka, headed it over the bar, but it reminded me the goal he scored against Brentford, no, it was, it was Bon, was it Bon, Brentford Bournemouth? <coughs> I think, yeah, it was against Brentford in the first leg of the season. That game ended 3-0. I think Saliba scores the first one, then Jesus scores the second one, and um, Fabio Vieira scores from the outside, the outside within his box area of, <coughs> of Brentford in the second half. So to me, it look, looked well like me, and it brought back that those memories, eh? Of Jesus, but that time Jesus headed that ball into the back of the net. This time he never headed it into the back of the net. That was the tenth minute. Then <clears throat> Aaron Ramsdale had something to do, but before that, when the game reached the twenty-third minute, when Ateta saw things are not going in well, do you know what he did? He told Bukayo Saka start warming up because. <clears throat> That can try to send a message to the players of Leeds that, oh, the danger man of Arsenal is warming up, maybe he's coming on through, and it acts like, it acts like, uh, it acts like a threat and a change of mind, and that was in the 23rd minute. Then, 30th minute, obviously, they found themselves being saved by Ramsdale. Ramsdale had a shot to save from Somerville, and obviously it was really on a cross range as you see. Look, look, if he took it very well, you never know. It would have gone to the back of the net, but Ramsdale kept Arsenal in the game close to three or four, five times. And when we are doing the player ratings, I'm going to come out and reveal to you how much Ramsdale kept Arsenal in this game because he really had lots of saves to do before Arsenal even dreamt of really scoring the first goal. And uh, he really looked brilliant on the day. That is Aaron Ramsdale and is one of the best goalkeepers in the league. But <clears throat> when you look at the situation, you ask yourself, how are all these defenders going in for this player? And look, one, two, three players are unmarked. What if he takes an extra touch, he does a dummy, and obviously does a cutback? You get to find Sinistera. So I think the defending of Arsenal in the first half was really abysmal, but in the second half, they went ahead and we rectified it, and they really looked solid. They had, they had to concede one goal, though. <clears throat> then, two minutes later, 
Look, this is Jesus for you. He was brought down. He first sat down the first player. That was Christian Sen. And then Eiling was left onto the ground. And Jesus saw himself being stepped onto the knee. And he went on the ground. The referee pointed into the penalty. And guess what? He came in through and took it into the back of the net. And it counted Arsenal 1 leads zero that came in that that is that 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 first minute because var had to intervene and obviously do what we call a very good check and the check was done and jesus celebrated that way into the beautiful game of football now <clears throat> after that the first half ended one nil and it was in favor of arsenal and when you look at what that starts that starts where <clears throat> the stats where at the first half you saw to eat that 26.8 leads were so much into the half of Arsenal and leads were so much into the game and at half time you would think that maybe leads would come up and really make a shock to Arsenal and, obvi and obviously give them a hard time but obviously that wasn't the case because when Arsenal came in through 10 minutes in Martinelli <clears throat> not really not really not really not really there is something I'm missing out here there is the goal of Ben White that I'm not really <clears throat> showing you. Let's get Ben White here. Let's get some, some little bit of Ben White. All right. <clears throat> so, Ben White comes through and obviously taps the ball into the back of the net to make it to make it to nil. In the 47th minute, Ben White just came on and really gave us no a two goal lead. At the far post, well much pre well, well much positioned Martinelli with the cross and obviously he taps that ball into the back of the net and Martinelli bends the cross to the far post and White just rode into the bundle home from a close range and obviously that was a breather from Arsenal and I think that was an order coming in from Mikel Ateta that go on and really kill off the game. What does it mean to kill off the game? Scoring immediately in the first five, ten minutes of the first half, sort of the second half and that's what Ben White really had to do to really put it to bed. Then after that, <coughs> Jesus made it 3-0 and it was a tap in and it was a very good interplay between Jesus and and it was sad. And those that have been with, those that have been really watching this channel, I told you that have a close look on Jesus and Trossard because I knew that moment of magic was going to happen in any time. Because Jesus gets that ball, reads well the run of Trossard, and he plays him in. What Trossard does, he takes two, three extra touches towards the byline and he reads the run of Jesus like a book. And he does a cutback, and guess who taps it in the back of the net? It's obviously Jesus who starts the move, and then he runs and really taps that ball into the back of the net. It shows you how pretty Jesus is and the way he busts into space. You know, the run he makes to meet that ball is really outrageous. You know, he busts into space and taps the ball into the back of the net to make it... <clears throat> to make it... 3-0 for Arsenal. But as as it went down when they are playing Crystal Palace, it was 3-0 and obviously Crystal Palace pulled one back. And obviously again, <clears throat> Leeds pulled one back here and obviously it deflected off Zinchenko and it went to the back of the net and Zinchenko looked a very sad man on that day. And guess what? Trossard said, no way, no way. <clears throat> we have to really bury this to an end and guess who really scores that fourth goal it was granite jaka barring the game into the 84th minute because if the game stayed at <clears throat> if the game stayed at 3-1 if leeds had a chance to score one they would have gone ahead to really make it hard in the dying minutes of arsenal and arsenal wouldn't want to find themselves into that position so what they did was to kill off the game as they did when they're playing against crystal palace they scored the fourth one and really exonerated them from the humiliation all the crumbling that people would have thought about and it was Grant Xhaka into the back of them to make it Arsenal 4 leads Arsenal 4 leads 1 so that's how it happened Arsenal just dominated the game from the 30th minute and ever since then Leeds never really got back to their grip again but it's a very good win for Arsenal and when you look at how they are scoring good but one thing that you wouldn't like to see is 
Arsenal going to Anfield and starting off like they started off today. They, it took them long to kick off. That's it. It took them long to start off. So I think that is something that Mikel Arteta should tell his players that when you go to Anfield, we have to really start it on because if it's Liverpool getting those chances, Mohamed Salah, Doe Nunes, Cody Gakpo, <laughs> that leads get in the first 30 minutes, I think they really score and really put on a very good lead ahead of Arsenal. So guys, thank you very much for watching in through. Tell me your thoughts about Arsenal 4 leads 1 and how it happened down at the Emirates because I know you've enjoyed it. And that's it for now. We are coming back with the player ratings. And I think you guys are really geared up for everything we are really doing for you. And thank you for loving this channel, guys. Continue to subscribe. Don't forget to really hit the notification bell after subscribing. And obviously, smash the like button close to 100 times. Not so. I sign out for now. See you later. Cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. First day of the month. Going to second tomorrow. And my team, United, is playing against Newcastle. So if at all you want to see all... What is going to be all about? United Matters channel is the place to be. I sign out for now. See you later. The Muslim subscribers and viewers of this channel, Ramadan Karim. I'm out.